also, we just rolled into Chandigarh and we found that this place here, Aja or Aja or Aja or AJA or uh, Ya has a vegan menu. So let's go eat that vegan menu right now. Follow my finger, follow my finger. All right. menus extensive, the vegan menu is extensive, so we'll probably have to come back if it's good and eat the whole darn thing. So the falafel sandwich has arrived. Take a little peek. Let's see what it's like. Yeah, very nice. The falafel is sort of a Indian style falafel. Overall quite nice. Plantage burger. It's got a little lemon zest vibe inside of it. It's creamy. Patty's nice. Um, toasted bun. Yeah. It's not my favorite burger I've ever had in the world, but a solid choice. Quite a little lasagna here. Vegan cheese. Or just a bechamel. The bechamel is a little bit sweet, how, um, how in the day when people were first starting up doing vegan things, sometimes maybe you'd use sweetened soy milk or something. It's not, it's not bad. Mostly just kale inside. I think I probably liked the falafel sandwich the best. The burger was pretty close. Lasagna was um, edible and good, it wasn't horrible. Um, it just was missing a little of that Italian flair. Um, I didn't really taste too much in the way of herbs like oregano or basil. Um, and it had a lot of spinach and mushroom in the middle, so it was good. It tasted healthy. Um, the tomato sauce was even pretty good. It just didn't have lasagna vibe. Um, the burger uh, had kind of a mishmash of things inside. The avocado in it was really nice. It came with a very nice ranch dressing. I like that. Um, but it just kind of needed just a little more burgery goodness. We're gonna try a Faluda now. A vegan Faluda, which is like the common ice creamy goodness that they sell here a lot in India. Persian inspired, they say. So, let's try that next. So we received a bowl with two scoops of ice cream, some sauce, and some noodles some coconut milk in it. It tastes gross. It tastes dates. It has a pan leaning vibe to it. Just a little trace of it with the, with the specks of the rose. It's nice. It's different. It's weird, but it's good. Refreshing. Recommend. It's our first day here in Chandigarh. So predictably, we have arrived, we've eaten, and we have now emerged to sector 17, which is the shopping sector. And uh, it's pretty chill here, honestly. Um, definitely in the high-end sort of range. It goes all the way down this walking street and all the way back around. It's quite a sector, Sector 17. They tried it in, in, in 16 other sectors, but they were like, nah. We go lots of stores by Raymond, for whatever reason. Not a terribly large selection of stores that are interesting to me. But that doesn't mean that there's not going to be a tremendous amount of stores that are interesting to you. You like Aero shirts? They got them. We got Reed and Taylor. We got Alan Sully. We got Bata. You need some shoes? You better believe they got shoes. <laughs> Fancy yourself a bit of a trendsetter? Compare your tastes to this one. Oh, another Raymond store. Wow. Raymond dominating the local men's clothing market. It's big and wide open and easy to walk, honestly. 
and uh, it's nice and spread out. So it's pleasant. I think it's this area is popular for evening strolls. For evening strolls. Yes. Well, Natalia's done a lot of research heading into here. Incredible. Thank you. One thing you can always count on in India is getting your shoes nagged. For instance, uh, someone will say to you, excuse me, sir, shoe cleaning? I'll do a great job. And then you say, oh, no thanks. And they go, your shoes are very dirty. All right, if I was a lesser man, that would bother me. But I'm a greater man. And it doesn't. <coughs> We've got Raymond store number five or six here. You guys, chill. In case anyone's wondering if I'm just on a treadmill loop walking around and around, this is Raymond shop number six. Why? And now we're on the other side. What will we find? Uh, maybe it's just the time of the day, but the shopping zone seems a little empty. Why, Raymond? Why? That's now ten Raymond authorized stores. Raymond is got a chokehold on Chandigarh. Wow. If anyone knows why, Raymond, tell me in the comments. In the distance, Raymond number 11. What's that? That's another Raymond. That's Raymond number 12. We counted this one, but still. Raymond 13. Raymond 14. Raymond 15. Walking along. Just minding our own business. Oh, it's Raymond number 17. We're coming back just to try three more things at Aja. But we're gonna try a pizza, we're gonna try a bell, and something else, and show you that. So the appetizer, the guacamole sepuri, it's uh, some stuff on a chip. You get five of them for uh, 665 rupees. It's tasty. Mexican and Indian fusion. You got guacamole, pomegranate, cilantro. Quite nice. Tastes kind of like a, a nacho. Should I try the pizza now? It's a Punjabi pizza. Punjabi tofu pizza. It's a nice flatbread. It's uh, a little spicy, a little oniony. It's got a hint of like a barbecue sauce or something on there that isn't quite a tomato sauce. It's alright. Barbecue jackfruit burger. Kind of what you'd expect. Best item on the on the meal today. Jackfruit is uh, sautéed lightly. Nice enough. Today's meal, honestly, the appetizer was whack. It tasted good. Five pieces, eleven dollars Canadian. It was five tortilla chips, a bit of avocado, and some sauce. Now, I get it. If you're in a finer dining space, sometimes you get smaller food, but you usually get rarefied ingredients. Nothing there was too out of the ordinary, unless avocados here are seventy dollars each. Anyway, moving on. The pizza was good. Um, it had better value. It's about uh, also $11, I think, um, for a non-appetizer type type uh, type of meal. But it was a little overcooked and a little undersauced. I actually caught like a trace of like a cigarette butt taste from the overcookedness of the crust. It wasn't awful, but just like a little aftertaste of kind of like a charred something. 
and the crust was a little bit airy and not very substantive. The burger was about the best thing. It was quite simple for what it was, just like jackfruit, a bit of ranch, and uh, that made it nice. Um, also a pickle on there, um, and then some extra sauce on the side. That was pretty nice, and that was also about uh, eight bucks. So, about 10 times the normal price. Healthy ingredients, um, great service, nothing to complain about there, but just not that wow factor that you'd expect for sort of a fine dining spot. Overall, tepid recommendation. Not a burning hot recommendation. Maybe there's other spots, but in Chandigarh, pretty decent, I'd say. Pretty decent. What do you think, Natalia? It's good. It's a little bit pricier than average, but it's pretty good. Yeah. I like that they have a separate vegan menu and then they know what vegan is. Mm. So you don't have to ask like 10 million questions. I do agree. And uh, for instance, the hummus sandwich was very was very satisfying. Lots of items very satisfying. You enjoy, and you enjoyed the pizza enjoyed more, the more than I did. You liked it more than I did. Okay, and I definitely admit that after having my own business and being vegan for 25 jaded years, I can be um, more discerning or snobby about... Would you, was that how you'd say it? Anyway. The sandwich was good. The faluda was excellent. Burger. Was it a piece of plastic? It was. Oh, nice. It's okay. That's all right. That happened. Adequate, but not our fave. Well, we've arrived in hopes of a market that is better. We're just near Nehru Park at the Sector 22 market in Chandigarh, and uh, looks a little more like what we like, what we're used to. I like these kind of street markets a lot better, honestly, than the more frou-frou markets that we found in Sector 17. Well, look who we found! Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Daksh. Daksh was in our Kulu video, and we met him on the way in, and now we're meeting him on the way out. On the way out. Amazing. Yes. He took a break from his busy schedule of uh, exams, which are winding down, right? Winding down, your exams. Yeah, tomorrow's my last exam. Nice. So we're going to go and see, hopefully, if I can get tickets or transport, we're going to go see Holy and Vrindavan together. And it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. If you see this footage, it means we probably did find tickets to Vrindavan. If you don't... So Chandigarh is where you are from, but we met you in Kulu, Kulu because yes. you were coming to Kulu. Meet you. To, 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 yeah, that was the whole... <laughs> not to meet you, but... That we hadn't even been walking for maybe an hour before we met you last time in Kulu, and right. then we became fast... Fast inseparable friends. Even though right now we're separating. I'm just trying to find better light, because this light. thing sucks in low light. Oh, you can head out. Yeah. Okay. But I have my little car over there. You got your bike? Yes. What are you driving? Bike. Does the bike have a name or just bike? It's a Pulsar. A Pulsar. Oh, nice. Those are nice. You want to give nice. us a shot? No. Right. Well, I've made it this far in India without dying, and the safety things no, here are a little... No, it's all right. It's a little bit... Where's the key? Wow.